Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you some examples of the Wi-Fi functions of Clarinox's Koala EVM board. In particular, we'll be having a look at how to set it up as an access point. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to power up the board and you can see I've got Clarinox debugger software and the console open there. Now just back in the tool chain, I'm going to click on this icon to compile the program and load it onto the Koala CPU. So it can take a little while to load the program here. I am just going to cut out the loading time for the video, but it does usually take about a minute or two. Now I still need to actually connect the debugger to um, the Koala board, so I'll just connect that pressing that play icon. So that's now connected into the Koala board via the USB to UART bridge. So then I'll just go back and run the application, clicking on that icon there. Okay, so we can see that the debugger's up and running. The first thing we want to do here is enable the Wi-Fi stack. So that's option one in the menu. And then we want the access point mode, so that's number three. So then we can start the interface as an access point and we want the default configuration, so that's number one. I'll just go across there to show you. So that'll take 30 seconds or so to load up the firmware onto TI's chip that we've got in the COM8 port there. That's the TI Ylink 8 chip. Okay, so then we'll just go over to the phone. Now, I apologise, you probably won't be able to read very much of what's on the phone, but I'll try to explain to you as much as possible what it says on the screen. I'll just get into the Wi-Fi. So at the moment we can't see the Koala Board's SSID showing up on the phone. But if we go back over into the console and enter in option 3 which is enable device. And then the SSID shows up in the list on the phone screen. So at the moment the name is CLX UCOS STM which is the default SSID. So I'll just click on that. Great, so now you can see both in the debugger and the console that we've connected the phone to the Koala board as an access point. And then if I just turn off the Wi-Fi, you can see straight away the disconnection. And then I reconnect. And then we can try uploading a file. So I'll just go back and open the internet. Then in the address bar, I'll type in the IP address of the Koala EVM. So that's 192.168.0.243, which is again the default IP address. So then I'll just try to zoom that in a bit. You should see the login screen. So then we just enter for the username Clarinox, password Clarinox. So I'll just log in and then it's just asking me whether to remember the password there so I just clicked not now. Once we've logged in we've got the option to upload a file so I'll just click on that. And then I'll just click on one of my files to upload one of the photos, it's about 3 meg. And I'll click upload. Okay, so that's uploaded. So it is about one megabyte per second, so that took only a few seconds. Now, there's one other thing I'd like to show you, and that is using the Koala board as a station. So to do this, in the console, I've enabled station mode and started the interface as a station, and I've also turned on the personal hotspot on the phone. So then you choose number four, connect to a wireless network and type in the network's SSID, which in this case is GT Wi-Fi. 
and that's a WPA2 authentication, so we'll type in number 3. And then it asks for the password, which in this case is gokyun1234. Okay, so now you can see the koala board, which is acting as a station, is connected to the mobile phone's hotspot. The next thing I'd like to show you is the Memory Analyzer plugin. So in this you can see the memory usage. And if you go across to the Details tab, you can have a look at the individual entries. Lastly, I'll show you Clarinox's programmable WMI module. So this is what it looks like and it plugs in here. And this can be programmed through the JTAG connection on the left. Okay, so thanks for joining me everyone. And don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on our website.